Okay. Everybody recognizes that. Those are my trail cameras. Put one back at the fourth A field. And the other one probably up further than that. Goldrich's Maple Farm. Two cows. They're different ones, not the same as last year. <laughs> Black and a brown one again, though. Ginger and Marianne are the names. over there now. Pop-up's old marker, property marker. That's uh, well, the corner property. There's a property there still belongs to somebody else. But this used to be the corner of this property right here. This was just eight and a half acres here. Um, but now, Kitty and Louie that live here now, they own all this all the way down to the road, all over here. This is the second hay field. The first one's beyond those trees. And then uh, they own all back here. Now it's an 80 acre parcel. And back here, this is the third hay field. There's uh, Burnt Mountain right up there. And this here is Mountain Road going all the way up to that bare mountain. And that is where we're going. So we always climb to, used to. Yeah, this, this belongs to somebody else, this hay field back here. This is a rock wall that's here and goes up along behind the house. field used to go back there until the trees started growing again. Oh, I forgot one thing. Got to bring bear spray. but it's a, it's a beautiful day. Here come the flies. And get up here. This is where the entrance to the fourth hay field is.
I'm probably not going to go up to where I initially wanted to like up through way up there to the cabin so I wanted to set one up there too but it is a little bit of a hike and it's all uphill uh, I might walk up just a little bit and set one up there because I don't have my bear spray and I don't want to come across anything while I'm walking up through there. More than likely they'll just run off, but... Ooh, looks like another path over there, kind of. But uh, if you have cubs and mama bears around, it's a whole different ball game there. So... Bobcats wouldn't bother me too much. I don't really care. Alright, well, right about here is where I want to set one up. I'm um, not sure which direction I want to set it up at. That's quite a bit of things here are overgrown. I could probably set one on that tree. Looking over towards the field. As you, you get stuff coming this way and down through there. Um, I wonder what that's all about there. I think I might, I don't know, let's take a walk over here. Set one up in here first, somewhere. fourth hay field here this was pretty much when we were kids about as far as we can go I mean we could have gone further but safely this was the furthest we can go there's another path that goes up to the base of the mountain up that way um, I'm not gonna do all that now though the tree creaking over there yeah that's Drew's mountain over there burnt mountains up that way there's a path houses over there hooker mountain thistle hill all that's over there I wouldn't get too much out in the field the trail is the best place to get it anything because I'm gonna swap these flies away. There we go, there's one. Oh, there's another. I think that big tree right there where I pointed at before would be a good spot if it's just looking this way. I think would be pretty cool. Because everything generally funnels down a path. It might be the grass that's happened. So, I'll turn this off for now. Okay, well, there's the camera right there. And it's looking directly in that direction, so it'll get anything passing along this way and coming in and out of there. Okay, let's walk up here a little bit. When I was a kid, I, I would not come past this point right here because the woods are so dark here. I used to think it was loaded with bears. <laughs> when I see the dark woods like this, I just immediately think black bear. So I never, never came up through here unless I was with somebody.
don't remember how far it is up to the cabin. It was pretty good ways, but it's like I said, it's all uphill. And I know I'll have to come back up here again when uh, I have to get them. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. I did want to climb the mountain, but my knees ain't having it right now. All the work I'm doing to the trailer. Gotcha. It's uh, pretty well got a washout right here. It used to be really overgrown. So yeah, it gets steeper over there. Well, oh, there's a ladder right there. Like a portable tree stand or something. I don't know, I'm trying to look for like a kind of an animal path or something that I can set up near. That kind of seemed like one. Maybe that's why the ladder's there. It's up against a dead spruce right now, or fir tree. Uh, there might be something coming through here. See, it's a little, a little worn, but I don't think it's anything fresh. I don't know. No. Damn. Yes, it does work. They do zap the bugs. And when I climb a mountain, usually, this is, uh, this is probably the easiest part of it because you're on a path for one. Two, uh, it's not as steep as the mountain itself. The mountain itself is almost up, almost straight up. And no path and down trees and rocks and all that stuff kind of make it a little more difficult. I might just set one right here, looking up the path. Kind of wanted to get up by the cabin. There's a big birch tree right here. I may just set one up here and uh, see what happens. Probably have better luck in uh, where I was with the uh, where I had the cameras before. Man, something really got my arm. But with no bear spray, I don't want to go too far up. I mean, it's easy to just go down that way as you're going down. I don't know. But that means I'd have to come up that far again. I'm not sure how much further I have to go. And bears aren't really the, my big concern. It's something else that I really don't want to encounter if there really is such a thing here. People claim to see them, but no evidence. For sure, there's bobcats, of course, but I don't know. I'm probably almost there and just don't know it. I just went up here with the tractor. Oh my god, smell that blossom. Mm. Got him. Me too. I don't know, let's see what's around this bend. If I don't see any signs of clearing or anything, I'm just gonna stop here. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably right up there. Yeah, I think it's right up there. Yeah, these flies are relentless. Well, two by four. 
Okay, use that as a marker, I guess. Yes, up here. Yeah, I definitely would not be able to climb the mountain. I'm so out of shape. I ain't been up there in two years either. Three years. Huffing and puffing. Okay. All right. Well, there's another path that goes that way. Where the cabin is up over there. before any of this was cleared out. Well, the path was still here, of course, but before this was here, this is where we used to cut in to go up the mountain, I believe. I don't know if it's this road. See, there's another path there. It's that way. This is definitely where we used to cut in here, right here. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna catch a moose up through here. Is there more like a swampy animal, marshy animal? Um, so who knows? Pretty sure it'd be a bear. Bobcats. Yep, here's the cabin. I don't know if it's still there or not. Behind those trees. Yeah, it's still there. Alright. So I'm probably going to set the camera right over here. Let's look over here. Yeah, it flies. There's a cabin. And right up there. <laughs> right up there. Top of the mountain. Burnt mountain there. And we used to just go straight up through here, but none of this was here. So, I think, hmm. If I stick my camera over here on this tree, that's where I step. I mean, ain't worry about snakes or nothing. There's no venomous ones, but it's unstable ground. Yeah, I think looking over there might be might be what I'll do. Or 
See, I don't want it. I don't want the trees, the sun, to keep trying constantly triggering it off. So if I break away this one here into that branch or something here, so I have a clear shot over there. So I'm pretty sure animals are coming through here. So shut this off for a second. Let's see. Oh. Okay. There's a camera right there. There's a little path this way where I would uh, walk up to to climb that mountain over there. There's a path that way that we're going down. There's one going around this way, another that way, and another that way. So, and a grassy area. So, I do see some kind of matted areas where something could have been walking through. So, we'll see. There it is, and there that is. I honestly was not thinking of, <laughs> well, I imagine of putting it up here, but today actually when I'm actually doing it, I didn't think I was actually gonna come up here to put it there. So I'm gonna have to make a return trip, trip up this semi-steep hill and uh, Actually, it is steep, but not as steep as it is climbing that mountain up there. Or even the owl's head. You know, it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's dirt or shit or what. Nope, there, there's more shit right there. Must be better shit. <laughs> All right. They're definitely up here. It's not fresh though, so but still. I remember bear spray next time I come. I've been mauled up or anything. Look at this a little path that goes right to it. Let's see what we got. Come on. Is it dead? Better not be dead. Seven pictures, videos. That's it, huh? All right, let's see what we got. Don't have to worry about a lock on this one. Okay, it's off the tree. I think it was a little pet. It couldn't have been for me when I was here last time. But I only have seven pictures on there. Nobody's been up here for a while. It looks pretty matted down in some spots. So, three weeks. Only, uh, Only seven videos. I hope they're good ones and not just a bird. Yeah, there's the top of the mountain up over there. That's where the steep climb is there. Alright. I hope it don't rain. In front of my camper is still wide open. Still got siding to put on. Still got a window to replace. All right, let's go down. Look at the other one.
Figure I'd get them now. It's just tomorrow's supposed to rain. Tuesday it's supposed to rain. Uh, I want to leave Wednesday to head south. I want to spend a little bit of time in New Jersey as much as I can anyway before I return down to hell in Georgia. But, uh, well, with the camper, it just takes too long to get done, which is a good thing, actually, because I'm going to make sure I'm doing it right. I keep hearing something. There's something there. Well, when I came up here, it looked like I saw something pass through this way. So, I don't know. There's that other path over here. So this goes kind of around the side hill here. Looks like that's all clear cut over there. It was. There's a little tiny frog there, a little toad, a little red guy, look at him. Here comes the dark patch of woods here, so we're just about down to the fourth A field here. Okay, one more camera to get. I think I might uh, stop here and see what kind of footage I have on both of them. 
Look at that. Looks like a little gypsy moth caterpillar. I know they're over in, uh, over around Lake Champlain area, eating all the leaves off the trees, Plattsburgh. Looks like they made their way here. But there's no oak trees for them to eat. They don't eat too much in the way of uh, maple trees. However, I've seen them eat just about everything, including pine needles. You know what? I'm going back to kill this sucker. Where is he? I saw him. Oh, there he is. Let's take you. Actually, I got a zapper. Let's just zap you. Where are you? There you are. Gotcha. field over there that other field behind the house is over there I wanted to fly my drone too but I just had no time at all this project this year has really taken a lot out of me time everything I know I kind of slacked off in the beginning but Really, really procrastinating. All right, let's get this guy over here. Let's set my stuff down. Let's set this down too. Over there. Hello.
So, this is looking, trying to look at some of the footage on the camera. I keep hearing something sneaking around back over there. So I'll look at my footage when I get back by the house. There's a, uh, and there Kitty and Louie want to see it too. I'm gonna walk over here real quick. So far, all I've seen on the footage, oh yeah, whatever it was, it's you. So far what I've seen on the footage uh, was um, a lot of coyotes, deer, turkey, and it looks like uh, looks like uh, either uh, raccoon, it's probably raccoon, or it could be a porcupine. There are porcupines around here. See, here's the fourth hay field. This is where I was allowed to go up to. Well, I could have gone anywhere, really, when I was a kid, but this is as far as I would go. See that? That's all there is here. There's nothing. You hear nothing but, but the birds. Alright, so I head back down. Only seven videos up there by the cabin. There better, better be something good there. Let's see, where's, where's my phone? I'll know when I came up here last. I'll find out right now. July 2nd, that's when I came up here last. And today's what? 17th, 2022. So, yeah, it's it's been about two and a half weeks, three weeks. Third hay field. You just about barely see this little hill there through the trees. Third hay field there. We got dead uh, spruce over there. Pretty tall. That's a good 80 feet high, 75 feet maybe. This is a balsam, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, this one's a balsam. That's a pretty tall one, yeah. I brought water and I'm thirsty, but I didn't drink any. <laughs> I 
yet. Anyway, I haven't had to use my fly swatter too much as I did put bug spray on, so. Okay, here we are, second hay field. And the first one's out by the road. There's the house. house is right in front of it there when they finish building that new house there that one's going to come down but we'll see, we still have this magnificent yeah magnificent view Just to be cut all the way along the edge there. 